Hello guys, welcome to the sixth video tutorial on Python programming for beginners. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use string in your Python program efficiently. So I think I have shown you uh, in the earlier videos how to use strings uh, very briefly. But in this video, I'm going to uh, take the string in detail. So I have this uh, Python file. Uh, I have shown you uh, in the last videos that you can make Python files and run them uh, using this run command, right? So I have this Python file and I have this Python shell open. So I'm going to write my code here and uh, I will see the result in this shell. Okay. So how to use strings in Python? So there are three um, methods or three ways you can use strings and I'm going to show you all three ways. So consider this example. We have uh, three variables a, b and c and all three of them I have assigned a string. One string uh, which is assigned to variable a uh, is enclosed in single quotes. right? The second string is enclosed in double quotes, right? And the third string, which is assigned to C, is enclosed in three or triple quotes. And I'm trying to print all three of them one by one. So I want to print A, print B, and print C. And let's see what happens. So first of all, I'm going to save my program, and then I will. Uh, just run this module or press F5 to run it. And when I press uh, this run, I will see the result here. And the result will be the same. So you can print the same string in three ways. Either you can use a single quote, or you can do, or you can use uh, double quotes, or you can use triple quotes to print the string and the result will always be same in python now suppose you want to uh, use for example this is a string enclosed in single quote and you want to use some single quote here so for example i want to uh, say uh, i'm a single quoted string and for example, I want to use a word called um, don't, uh, which also take a single quote here, this kind of single quote. And when I use the single quote which, uh, with the string which is enclosed already in single quote, then what, you'll, what your Python program will uh, interpret is your string starts from here and your string ends here. And this will be uh, some alien to your uh, Python, you know, Python program because uh, it will think that this single quote uh, is start from here and ends here. So this is a string, and what is this? It's not recognized by the Python. So whenever you want to use a single quote in the string which is already there inside the single quote you can use a escape character and what is the escape character in uh, python escape character in python is backslash so just use this backslash and now you can see that uh, your ba backslash is hiding or it's uh, saying python that we want to use single code inside the string okay and this is called escape character. So in the same way, when you want to use double quote in the string, which is already there in the double quotes, for example, here, I want to use double quote, the same problem will come here. Your Python program will see that your string starts here and ends here, and this will be not, this will not be recognized by your Python program. So here also, you can use backslash, to hide or to uh, you know say python that we are using double quotes but it's the part of the string 
and it's not starting or ending of the string okay in a same manner you can uh, you know use single quote here and you can use this backslash to uh, show this backslash or, or double quote here now i will save my program i will just click control s and run it once again f5 and you can see the answer is like this so i'm a single quoted string and this single quote is visible now here and uh, rem just remember that this is just an escape character so this will not be printed this will help your single quote to print but this will not be printed in the same way you can see it's printing this uh, double quote here because we are using escape character and in the same way it will work uh, in the third string like this now suppose you want to print this uh, this escape character so you have some string which uses this and you want to print here this backslash how you can do it you just need to use uh, where, wherever you need to you know print this backslash so for example i will use backslash here and let's see first of all what will be the result for example i want to print backslash here here and here and i will save my program and run it by pressing f or uh, this run python module it will show me this backslash here right but better way is to just use double slash let's see what happens when we use double slash i will save it and run the program and now it shows backslash like this so it's always better to use double slash whenever you want to print this single backslash here okay now suppose you want to print the length or you want to find out the length of your string what you can do you can use a built-in function called len and i think i have already uh, you know shown this function to you but once again i'm going to show you so i want to find the length of uh, the string a i can just use len and i will pass my variable a as an argument and i can save it and i i can run it i will run it here once again and now it says 34 so the length of my string a is 34 okay so in the same way you can find the length of uh, b and c also right now suppose i have a string a for example i have a string a like this hello and space and string b is like that hello world okay and how can i join these strings i can join these strings just like you just need to use a and plus and b so plus is called a concatenation operator here and what this plus does it just adds or concatenates these two string a and b so i will save the program and run it once again and it gives me the answer hello world right so this plus concatenates your string you can see here now for example i have this um i have this i will just delete this and i have this variable a and i want to print it 10 times and i don't want to use you know a and then plus a once again a i want to print it 10 times or suppose i want to print it 100 times there is a short way to print uh, this uh, a 100 times or whatever number of times what you need to do is you just need to use your variable which contains your string 
and then give a asterisk symbol here so give this asterisk symbol and then the number of time you want to iterate for example i want to print hello 10 times i can just give 10 here and i can save the program and i can run it once again and now you can see it has printed hello 10 times this i can do uh, you know i can change it to 100 and it will print hello 100 times just run it now you can see it has printed this hello 100 times right this is a short way of printing your same string again and again okay now suppose i have a string which is a so i have this word for example hello which is assigned to a and i have the other variable b and i assign a number 2 to this or 5 to this okay and i want to print hello 5 in a single line how can i do this i can for example i can try to write it like this a plus b but let's see what happens when i run this i will save it and i will run this and it gives me the error because my variable a is of type string and my variable b is of type integer and i cannot add or can co concatenate these two variables because they b has a different data type and a has a different data type now in order to print uh, this these two uh, variables together or value of the, these two vari variables together what I can do is I can type cast my b which is an integer to the string and to convert my integer to string what I can do is I can just do str and I can enclose this b variable in this function called str and what this str does is it converts your um, argument into a string okay and now when I save this and run this it will run fine hello 5 right so in this way you can uh, use string in python efficiently i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now